So to create this little crochet mouse cat toy, we'll need our darning needle. I am using a four millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors in order to cut our yarn. We'll need a little bit of polyfill, not much at all. And then I like to add some organic catnip inside of the toy also. My cat just loves the catnip, so we'll need those supplies. And for this pattern also, I am using, it's a simple red heart acrylic yarn. The color is called soapstone. So to start this, I'm actually gonna start and make the ears of our little mouth mouse first. So we create a magic ring. So hold your yarn between your thumb and forefinger and wrap around. So the working end is the top end. Insert our hook into the circle and pull up a loop. And then we simply chain one in order to join it. And then we want to put six single crochets into the ring. So go into there, pull up a loop, two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through your two loops. That's a single crochet and we want to make six of those. All right, and then pull our tail of our magic ring in order to close it. And then into our first stitch of our round, we want to single crochet into that stitch also. And then we want to continue going around into the circle and we want to, because we're working in a continual round, so we just did one single crochet after joining the round, so we want to do a total of 11 more single crochets, so we just keep working, going around. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And I simply tie off and we'll leave this tail just a little bit long. We can weave in this end. This is where we'll actually be attaching it to the body. Let's go ahead and make one more of those ears. All right, so we've made both of our ears and weaved in the very ends for it. I'm actually, once we get going around a little bit, we're going to go ahead and weave these in before, attach them to the body before we stuff our little cat toy because there's going to be a bunch of catnip inside of it. And from previous ones I've made, if you put these on after you stuff it with the catnip, the catnip seems to follow the thread as you're weaving it in out. Can do that, I should say. It's not a guaranteed every time which I put quite a bit in there. So I'm finding it makes a little bit less of a mess if you sew them on as we're going along. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you that here once we get to that point. Now we're gonna wanna still use our same yarn and we wanna create another magic ring. Do our chain one to join it. And then once again, six single crochets into the ring. All right. 
and then we'll pull our tail in order to close the ring. All right now and two because we're going to be working in the round so there won't be a slip stitch to join at all through this. So in our first single crochet stitch we want to insert our hook into there and into there we're going to do a single crochet two times into that first stitch. So a single crochet increase and then single crochet into the next two stitches and then into the next stitch a single crochet increase or a single crochet another way single crochet two times into the same stitch and single crochet into the next two stitches And there we are, that is round two. For round three, we're going to put two single crochets into the first stitch or a single crochet increase. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. And then again, single crochet increase or single crochet two times into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next three stitches. So that row has 10 single crochet stitches made. So if you get confused or anything, you can go ahead and count that for 10 stitches for round three. For round four, into our first stitch, we're going to do two single crochets or a single crochet increase. And then we're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. And then another single crochet increase, so single crochet twice into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next four stitches. And there we are, that is round four, which has 12 stitches all together. So if you do get confused, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For round five, we're gonna increase into the next stitch, so single crochet two times into that next stitch. And then single crochet into the next five stitches. And then we're going to do another single crochet increase. So single crochet twice into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next five stitches. And there we are, we have round five, which has 14 stitches all together. You can go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
Remember to count this stitch also. For round six, we're going to increase into our first stitch. So two single crochets into there, then single crochet into the next six stitches. And then single crochet increase or single crochet two times into the next stitch and then single crochet into the next six stitches. Now it's starting to form up here. I like to go ahead and make sure the end of our yarn, our magic ring is good and tight closed. And then pull my loop up kind of large. And then just reach down here and pull that tail inside. Use it kind of like a little bit of extra stuffing inside. Poke that down in. Now for round seven, we're going to increase into our next stitch. So two single crochets into our next stitch and then single crochet into our next seven stitches. and then increase into our next stitch or put two single crochets into that same stitch and then single crochet into our next seven stitches. That row has a total of 18 single crochet stitches, so if you get lost at all, you can go ahead and just recount those. Now for round eight, in our next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets, so an increase. And then we want to single crochet into the next eight stitches. And then two single crochets into the next stitch or an increase and then single crochet into our next eight stitches And that row had a total of 20 single crochet stitches made. For round nine, we're going to put two single crochets into the first stitch or a single crochet increase. And then we're going to single crochet into the next nine stitches.
and then single crochet increase or single crochet two times into the next stitch and single crochet into the next nine stitches And there we are, row nine. And as you can see, it's starting to kind of bring up almost like a cone shape. So row nine, if you get lost, it took 22 stitches all the way around. Now row 10, we want to put two single crochets into your first stitch or a single crochet increase. And then we want to single crochet into the next 10 stitches. And then into your next stitch, you want to put two single crochets or a single crochet increase. And then single crochet into your next 10 stitches. And there is round 10. So round 10 has 24 single crochet stitches. Now for round 11 through 15, we want to do five rounds with 24 stitches each. Another way I find a little bit easier because we're working in the round is simply single crochet going around for it comes to 120 stitches so I find that a little bit easier for me to keep track of especially whenever I'm working in the round so go ahead and single crochet around uh, and just keep going into the round until you've made 120 single crochet stitches and I'll meet you back here once we have completed that all right, so we've just completed round 15. Right here, I'm actually gonna pull up a really big loop and pull out my hook. I'm gonna take my darning needle and thread the tail end for the working end of our ears. And then we're gonna go to the body and we're gonna count up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven going to attach our ear between rows 7 and 8. And so we just do a couple of stitches back and forth in order to attach it to that stitch right between row seven and eight. Now that we've got it attached, go ahead and weave in that end.
and then we'll go ahead and thread in the second ear into the darning needle. Then once again, between row seven and eight, but we wanna put three stitches in between. I just attach the ear right into there. And as you can see, there are three stitches in between. Once you have that good and attached, go ahead and weave in the ends. Now our ears are attached. You can save those little tail ends to use as quick, easy little stuffing. Now I'm using this as a cat toy, so normally I would apply, if it was just like a decoration piece, some safety eyes, or you can use some thread to sew it on, but because it's just a cat toy, I'm not gonna go ahead and attach the eyes, but they would go right in between uh, row six and seven and then you'd put uh, about four stitches in between so his eyes are attached but I'm skipping this one because it's intended for a cat toy and I don't want one to break off and my cat aspirates it or something something crazy like that would happen to me knowing my luck <laughs> all right and now what we want to do for row 16 what we want to do is single crochet two together, or also known as a single crochet decrease. So we go into stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. And then we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches. And we wanna repeat that a total of six or six times all together so we're repeating it five more times two Four. Five. six and then go ahead and just as a little double check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen stitches so we've done them the proper amount of time so you should see 18 stitches now for our next round kind of like the last one because we are closing it up now into our next stitch, we wanna do, once again, a single crochet decrease. And then we wanna single crochet into the next stitch. And we wanna do that five more times, so a total of six times all together. So that's one, two, 
to three. Four, five, and six. And then you can go ahead and count your stitches also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now here's where we're going to go ahead and start stuffing our mouse. I'm actually going to pull up a big loop. And I'm going to end up with catnip probably all over this table, but that's all right. And do a little bit of catnip, add some polyfill, add some more catnip, a little more polyfill. Now I do like to alternate it and then make sure the last little bit I put in is polyfill into the toy because it will tend to risk catnip falling out all over the place. If not, and re-put our hook into the loop. Pull it back down to the correct size. Now for our last row, what we're going to do is decrease six times. So we do our decrease. Two, three, four. Five, and six. So that's all closed up. Now I do like to give it a quick little slip stitch onto the opposite side just to make sure it's fully closed. And then simply from here, you're going to want to chain 30.
All right, and then simply tie off. Now, as this is the very end of the tail, I'm not too worried about trying to weave in all the ends or if there's that little bit of tail left. And there we have our little crochet amigurumi mouse cat toy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a little thumbs up like. Let me know in the comments uh, anything positive, negative. Uh, I do read all of the comments inside of there. And if you have yet to subscribe, be sure to hit that little subscribe button and you'll be able to get a notification, especially if you that little bell right next to it, every time I post a new pattern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your, your day.